So, Pearl Harbor, today is Pearl Harbor. So, I wrote Pearl Harbor 2001. Suddenly, but not suddenly, in the terrible terror of war, the birds came flying out of the sky and dipped into the sea. The Arizona went up in flames, and America had an enemy. An enemy that had a name where suicide was common. To give them a plane or to bandage nails, what difference does it make to the young man at the centre of it, his own short life, the stake in unnegotiated forays where the goal is simply to take? And now the friends whose grandfathers gave everything they had are players who have learned compromise, and they did not die in vain. So too, the ones that gave their all on the greatest 9-1-1 in the Arizonans of New York City will know that the lesson is learned to reverse the old world order of mutual search and destroy, be it whatever power, the result is compromise. All the bodies buried in the blood of one up and ship will await their grandchildren's assessment of this final and jaded and devastating war to end all wars. <laughs> and, uh, we, just, we decided, uh, Rainer and I, that uh, I'm, I'm, that was a poem I wrote myself. Um, but we also like to read uh, some great poetry from the past. Uh, and so this one is written by William Butler Yeats, uh, 1865 to 1939. And it's called, and it's, he's a real poet, you know, The Song of Wandering Angus. Mm -hmm. I went out into the hazelwood because a fire was in my head and cut and peeled a hazel wand and hooked a berry to a thread. And when the white moths were on the wing and moss-like stars were flickering out, I dropped the berry in a stream and caught a little silver trout. When I had laid it on the floor, I went to blow the fire aflame. But something rustled on the floor, and someone called me by my name. It had become a glimmering girl with apple blossoms in her hair, who called me by my name and ran and faded through the brightening air. Though I am old with wandering through hollow lands and hilly lands, I will find out where she has gone and kiss her lips and take her hands and walk among the dappled grass and pluck till time and times are done the silver apples of the moon, the golden apples of the sun. Yes. Yeah.